Right, guys, it's test drive time. What have we got? Well, we're in a Mega Booster today. So it's a Westfield Mega Booster with a Generation 1 higher booster engine. Um, I think we know the stats generally on them, about 175 horsepower. Once you die, I know them. It's got a Simpsons exhaust on this, so probably, you know, 185 sort of horsepower. Nice number, paddle shift on it. Um, very different to a MK. Um, cockpit wise, dashboard layout. Got a nice big rev count and it's got a paddle shift on this as well. Um, but the one thing that is a challenge for me is it doesn't have adjustable seats. So I'm stretched out here on tippy toe trying to drive, really, uh, which is not the most comfortable. I say if you get comfortable in the car, you can drive a car fast. I couldn't drive this car fast, but it's a customer's car, not in my intention, but it'd be a challenge. And the steering wheel is a, is a stretch. As you can see, high arms are fully out here. Nice cage though. I think it's an FIA cage on here. It's got nice SBA mirrors. Makes a, obviously a nice noise on the up and down shift, but what it came in for was some uh, electrical problems. So, we're charging. First thing diagnosed, wiring. So rectified to blown, and the wiring was a bit at fault. So uh, fix that, and now we're on the test drive. So taking out the 14 volts that we need. Um, that's a normal test that we do. I think most people will do that as standard, do a voltage test on it, make sure it's charging, because otherwise it's an engine out on these to get to the generator and the stator, which um, you don't really want to be doing. It's a right pain and a lot of work for a small part. So thankfully, everything seems to be good on the test drive here so far. That proves the wiring was at fault. trick shifter on this so it's like a flat shifter which we showed the other day which is a similar version but no electronic paddles just a solenoid cut really for a little ECU but it works really well actually but it's a bit greasy and a bit wet so we're going to take it nice and steady today but through the gears all we up it's so cold out here I mean I've been driving for a few minutes now and I'm still only at 40 degrees so tell uh how cold it is today, pretty pretty lethal. So with all these cars, rear wheel drive, high power, it's cut slicks on it, you don't want to be anywhere near the damp stuff, you ever find yourself swapping in probably or lighting up the tires. So keep it nice and smooth. But you know what? It's not a comfortable driving position because of the seat runners. Feel a little bit high in the seat, but that's me, that's my preference. The steering wheel's a little bit stretched. I've got a couple of switches that are in the way of the paddles, but it's very smooth. I will say that, it's very, very smooth. Oh dear, I can't even talk, that is so cold. Oh, oh I'm going back. That's too much, Hannah, that's too much. Right, so we're just gonna punch it through the gears, Sean. Today, but just to give it a little uh, blast up the road. But of course, it's got a carbon dash, it's got a nice carbon nose going on this car. It's got some very nice uh, force racing wheels on there actually, uh, with the sticky tyres, triple eights on it all round. Um, aero screen's quite good actually, clear, so you can see. If that weren't clear, I'd struggle to see, but with it being clear, that's quite a nice. Um, Throws the wind almost over your head, but this bit here don't do you any favours. It just blasts you. So, um, crash helmet day probably today. Nice big gear indicator here, which is nice actually. Now I'm sort of look, trying to look at what's going on. Digital speedo, big rev counter, stack dash, 15,000. These go to about just over 11, generally around 11 and Gen 1. But nice. Digital gear indicator really helps if you're driving a bike engine to know what's going on, especially if you're not familiar with driving a bike engine. Fifth gear, sixth gear, there we go. Down the fifth, down the fourth, yeah. Give it the beans a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. Well, that's it guys, we'll package her up. I think just wants an oil change now. Send her back to the customer. I now know what an ice feels like. Oh, the things I do for TV.